1.5 billion community viewers saw the World Cup on television and live streams. Manila, as the host city, enjoyed 1.98 billion pesos worth of media value as, as its name was seen and heard around the globe in relation to the event. We welcome at least 10,000 tourists to our nation, 70% of which said they will recommend visiting the country to their peers. 77% of them said they would turn themselves. The level of service we delivered, showcasing the Filipino brand of hospitality, was unmatched. We delivered a basketball World Cup like no other, the best the world has seen thus far. Apart from hosting, we also saw our Gilas teams carrying our flag high around the world. Our men's Gilas team recaptured the gold medal in the Sea Games, despite almost unplay unplayable conditions in Cambodia and playing seven Americans in Cambodia team. They also finished the World Cup run with a big win over Asia powerhouse China in front of a home crowd at the historic Araneta Coliseum. This was followed by a successful Asian Games campaign in Huangzhou, China. Tayo naman bumisita, pero pareho ang resulta. Sabi nga ni MVP, there were so many times in China that they made it difficult for us to play. We won over China again and went all the way to deliver the country's first gold medal in basketball in 61 years. What an inspirational run by our Gilas team in China, one that is truly for the books. Our Gilas women also had a great year as we entered the quarterfinals with the FIBA Asia Cup held in Sydney last June. We ended up sixth six place and were on the game and were one game away, just a few points away, in fact, from getting a chance to play in the OQTs for the first time. They also brought home the silver medal from the SEA Games and have qualified for the pre qualifying tournament for the 2026 World Women's World Cup in Berlin. From 42nd, our women now rank 37th in the world due to their success in 2023. The Batang Gilas program also made us very proud last year. They took home the Siaba U16 gold medal with ease. They also defeated Japan in a great quarterfinal match in the Asia Cup, which meant a ticket to the U17 World Cup in Istanbul, Turkey this year. Their victories last year has pushed us up to number 25 in the world. We were also successful in the space of esports. Last November, our e Gilas team, na yeah, meron ding e Gilas team, competed, uh, competed in the very first edition of the EFIBA World Cup. We earned a spot in the semis, only to bow down to the eventual champions, Team USA. We placed fourth overall. Our 3XT program also had, very, uh, had a, their first share of victories. Both of the men's and women's teams won silver medals for us at the SEA Games. Indeed, it was a year of achievements for the SBP, but what excites us most is that there is so much more. The year 2023 is to be celebrated not as a, success, as a successful end of a journey, but as a springboard at the beginning of many more things to come for Philippine basketball. To end, I'd like to share a quote from Dr. Richie Norton. Every sunset, it's an opportunity to reset. Every sunrise begins with new eyes. With the beautiful sunset of 2023, it was for us. So beautiful that we can't wait to conquer 2024 and beyond with a new outlook and inspired spirit. Maraming salamat po. Very inspiring words. Thank you very much. SPP President Alpha Lillion.